why are we here? Is this your favorite place? I think this is my favorite place in Sydney. It's just so relaxing and, and it feels so good. I just walk around and I experience it this pandemic time. is the best time for me to experience and enjoy the city of Sydney. Wow. I love the sound of water here and then you can see the harbor bridge at the back behind me. That is awesome. Yeah. So do you normally hang out here on a day-to-day -day basis or this is just when you just want to chill out after a stressful day or you just want to clear your mind? I do it once a week. So definitely I'm going to walk around all over the city but I always do it like either any those of the week or the day I go pass by here and then sit for a moment and yeah, I love it. I enjoy it. It's almost like you're not in the city but you are in the city. That's great. So show me around. Uh, yeah, let's go. Follow me. And I'll show you some of my favorite spots. Come here. And that is the Crown Plaza there. It's going to be open very, very soon. So what motivates you to walk? Well, because of the pandemic as well, there's a good and bad. Well, I gained weight. So then I realized now that we can go walk. Walking is perfect. It's good for your mental health. And of course, I love my body. So I have, you know, I did today, I did 12,965 steps and then I did uh, 9,941 9 kilometers and then I burned like 2,100 of calories. One thing about me now that I've learned this COVID, I learned more be patient and more homebody and appreciate the city of Sydney. When I was, you know, before, I just really don't care, but now I'm loving it. And I'm more very, my spirit wall is more stronger and I more understand myself knowing myself more and what well, you know that's so much thanks good things about I've learned about myself how do you connect yourself with your family do you normally call them or it's just some um... well you know another thing it's the thing uh, we more connected each other because of this pandemic and then we have a group chat we have Facebook chat and then we have uh, you know Twitter oh Twitter <laughs> Uh, we have what's up so we more communicate each other every week we're checking each other so I think that's a good thing about it we more connected any one of our family other side of the world do you think this pandemic gets you more closer to your family even though if you are far away absolutely and even all my cousins that like younger than me that never had a relationship with them now we have that communication now and I feel like there are I'm getting closer with them that residence there those and the, the top floor that's our Russell Crow's house so you brought me here to the second place you wanted to tell everyone yes you know what because uh, that was my favorite I don't know if it's a residence or an office but look at that that house over there is a very uh, American kind of a 4th of July I don't know I just so pretty I you want to ride on my wave Just because it's fun You want to be in my space Too close to the sun Don't seem to care if it's safe Well that makes two of us I'm so insane, so insane And you like it But you have So tell me, have you ever met someone famous? Or just a lot of them? Well, a lot of them When you say famous uh, I met, well Baz Luhrmann, Nicole Kidman, uh, a lot of Australian actors, Hugo Waving, uh, Will I Am, uh, and more. Yeah. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would that it be? Ooh. Can I have two? Okay, I'll give you two. Well, Sydney and my town, Iloilo. Well, what's so special about Sydney? 
uh, we have everything here. If you want architecture, you have Opera House. You have the Sydney Harbor. You get a lot of park. And then if you want beach, you have Bondi. And then if you want mountain, we have Blue Mountains. We have everything here. Yes. Have you ever experienced snow? Yes, I did. When I live in Vancouver, we went to Whistler. And yeah, amazing. So how long did you stay in Vancouver? I lived there for two years. Wow, two years. Yeah, because I performed for uh, being part of the Winter Olympic opening ceremony. That was right. 2010. So if you could ever give me one highlight of your event in in Vancouver, Canada, which one? I think that being the first or the only Filipino to be part of the ballet uh, big companies like Alberta Ballet and Ballet British Columbia and us only Filipino be part of it. And I think that's my uh, fame, you know. How about, tell me about the latest reality TV shows that you were binging during the pandemic. Ooh, oh well, definitely The Real Housewife of Beverly Hills. <laughs> is that, is that, what, what, why is that? I think it's just, it's, it's funny, uh, it's uh, realistic, and then, you know, if you love fashion and you love drama, and I think for me, it's inside of me, it's the Filipino drama, drama you know, we grow up with a soap opera, this one you can see that, so that's why I love it, I'm dramatic, I love drama. You are not like the others A cool kind of melody You rattled my cage without warning Kept it up right till the morning A new kind of ecstasy You found a different side of me The one I'd like to be A different side of me, yeah Me, like someone pretty need a different side of me, yeah. I think it sounds cliche, but it's the reality. It's humanity is the most important thing. And I think we need to be aware of that for the young ones especially, because this is their next generation. 